Now the divisibility concept which we have discussed in the starting stage of our introduction of playing with numbers, the divisibility rule. Let's see how a number can be identified to be divisible by a number 10. When is the number divisible by 5 or 2 or 3 or 9 or 6 or 4 or 8 or 7 or 11. So let's see the divisibility of a given number for each of the numbers in the heading. So to start with, let me start with 10 and taken in chronological order, I end with 11. So the, each of the number has its own divisibility rule, which we are going to see in a step, step by step process. So coming to the first, my first concept starts with identifying when the number is divisible by 10 and when it is not divisible by 10, taken as a separate rule. So I have the rule, which is for each of the numbers, which I preserve in each of the points as I take. So let's start with divisibility by 10. So when is the number divisible by 10 is the biggest question in case of the first point or the first heading out here. So we identify that a number however large is said to be divisible by 10 if the number in its if the digit in its units place is zero so this is said to be a number n is said to be divisible by 10 if its units place is zero if the units place is 0, then the whole number is said to be divisible by 10. It's a shortcut process for identifying the number to be divisible by 10. So for example, this is the number. I want to know if this number is divisible by 10. So immediately I have this units place, which is 0 this units place is 0. Therefore, the number n equal to 54196230 is divisible by 10 directly. You can say directly that this is divisible by 10. So let's see with another example where I want to know that the sum, whether the sum 392 plus 18 is divisible by 10. So let's add up the value Let's simplify this addition to find the value and then use the process where my definition says that a number n is said to be divisible by 10 if its units place is 0. So let's see, let's identify the units place for this given number. So as I can see that the given question is 392 plus 18 when I add up would give me 410. So 410 is the value which I identify when I add the two given values. So this number would be divisible by 10 because when I take the units place, my units place in case of this is 0. Similarly, in my case, the units place is identified as 0. Therefore, because the units place is 0, therefore 410 is divisible by 10. So this is how. 410 is divisible by 10. Now let's see through the random verification by dividing if I really get this to be divisible by 10. So I want to check this concept of the shortcut method of the units place being 0 by generally dividing this with 10 and seeing whether the given method is correct or not. So let's start with the verification process. Let's divide 410 with 41 with 10 so that I get an integer. So when I just divide this with 10, I should get an integer. Then I say it is perfectly divisible. So when I divide with this, this 10 force is 40. So that I carry here, I get 1. On subtraction, I get 0. So that this becomes 10 once 10, which is 0 as the remainder. The remainder is 0 out here. Therefore, because I get the fixed integer, therefore 410 by 10 gives me 41 as the integer or the natural number. Thus, 
therefore 410 is divisible by <coughs> 10 and the answer obtained when I divide is 41 therefore 410 is divisible by 10 by the general process which clearly verifies through the concept as taken here through the units place which is 0. So this is how we identify the divisibility by 10 using its units place and hence deciding whether the units place is 0 or not. If the units place is 0, the number is said to be divisible by 10. If the units place is not 0, the number is said to be not divisible by 10 straight away. Now let's see the divisibility by 5 which is the second method out here in case of finding the divisibility concept. So in case of the second method where I had to identify the divisibility by 5, the definition says that a number however big or large is said to be divisible by the number 5 if its units place is 0 or 5. A number is divisible by 10 in the previous session if its units place is 0. But in similar case, in the similar fashion, a number is said to be divisible by 5 if its units place is 0 or 5. Now here its units place is 5 and its units place is 0. Therefore this is said to be divisible by 5 and this also is said to be divisible by 5 because its units place is 5 and in this case the units place is 0. So both the cases would give me a number divisible by 5 as can be verified. Let's verify this for 2960 when I divide with 5, 5 5 is 25 remainder 4 and then 60 then 46 5 9 is 45 remainder 1 and carry 0 out here then I get 5 2 is 10 so that 0 is the remainder so that I get a strict positive integer such that this number divide is divisible by 5. So any number whose units place is either 0 or 5 is said to be divisible by 5. So interestingly when I compare the divisibility of 10 and 5 I identify that every number which is divisible by 10 is divisible by 5 because divisibility of 10 ends with units place as 0 and because divisibility 5 by 5 also ends with units place as 0 therefore every number which is divisible by 10 is also divisible by 5 since each has units place 0 but when you take the converse of this it may not hold because when a number is divisible by 5, I have the choice of either the units place is 0 or 5. But in case <coughs> the units place is 5, then in that case, that fails with the units place of 0 being with the divisibility of 10. When a number is divisible by 10, I should have the units place as only 0. But in case of my units place is being 5, this fails with the condition of divisibility of 10 and 5. Therefore, the converse is not true converse of the above need not be true because the units place must be fixed at 0 for divisibility by 10 with a freedom for divisibility of 5 with its units place as either 0 or 5. Now the third concept is divisibility by 3 and 9 because the divisibility of 3 is as similar as the property which holds for divisibility of 9 with the similar property as identified for 3 and 9. Therefore, I take a combined understanding of the divisibility by 3 and 9 where initially we would be starting with the session on how a number is divisible by 3, however large or smaller the number is. So let's take an example problem where we need to identify the divisibility by 3. But before this, let me take an example to start with divisibility by 3.
Now the rule says that a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits of the number is divisible by 3. So the rule says a number n is divisible by 3 if the sum of all its digits is divisible by 3. The sum of all its digits is the more, most important core concept in understanding divisibility by 3 of the whole number. So when I add all the digits and divide by 3, if I get an integer, then the whole number is indirectly said to be divisible by 3. A rule or a shortcut method through which we can identify the divisibility of a number by 3. So let's take an example problem. The number 5436 and see if this number is divisible by 3. So I identify that each of the digits are 5, 4, 3 and 6. Then I take sum of all digits as my first step in identifying the divisibility by 3. So when I have sum of all digits here, I identify that the sum of all digits is 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6 when taken individually and summing up. So my sum of all digits here is 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6 in case of this problem, example problem, 5436. So which on simplification gives me 5 plus 4 is 9, 3, 12 plus 6 which is 18. So my sum of all digits here is 18. Now as the definition says a number n is said to be divisible by 3 if the sum of all digits is divisible by 3. Now clearly the sum of all digits is 18 and I see that clearly 18 is divisible by 3 because 18 by 3 is 6. Clearly 18 is divisible by 3 since 18 by 3 when I cancel I get an integer. Therefore, this being an integer clearly makes me understand that 18 is divisible by 3. Therefore, by definition or the rule which says with this property, by definition, I can say directly that 5436 is divisible by 3. So this is how I understand the divisibility by 3 concept. So let's recap. When I want to find a number's divisibility by 3, I sum up all the digits and whatever value I get, I check for its divisibility by 3 by just dividing and seeing if I get an integer. So once I get an integer, that means 18 is divisible by 3. Therefore, by definition which says that a number n is divisible by 3, if the sum of all its digits is divisible by 3, now because sum of all digits being 18 is divisible by 3, the whole of the number is said to be divisible by 3. It is just a property in divisibility of 3. We can verify this if we can just go for the verification of this can clearly be done by taking 5, 4, 3, 6 and divide it with 3. 3 once, 3 and then taking the subtractions, the remainder, then I get 24, 3, 8, 24, carry with 3, 3 once, 3 and 6, 3, 2, 6 which gives me 0 as the remainder. Therefore, because I get this to be a fixed integer and 0 as the remainder, therefore 5, 4, 3, 6 is divisible by 3 as I can take through an example through random verification by the division process. And therefore, this is how I understand the divisibility by 3. Now let's come to how we can understand the divisibility by 9 using the similar process of understanding the divisibility by 3. Now as we have seen the divisibility of 3, let's also see divisibility by 9 which is as similar as for divisibility by 3. Now with divisibility by 3, we understood the property by adding up all the digits and the sum of digits is divisible by 3, then the whole number is said to be divisible by 3. And divisibility by 9 or equally has the similar property. So let's take the definition of divisibility by 9. 
a number n is said to be divisible by 9 if the sum of all digits is divisible by 9 as similar as that of the definition of 3. Now let's take the same example 5436 which we have taken in the previous case. Now sum of all digits here when I add up each of the digit is clearly 18. Now clearly I understand that 18 is divisible by 9. For definition of divisibility by 9 I have to check for its divisibility by 9. But in the previous case we checked the divisibility for 3 because the heading was divisibility by 3. <coughs> So I clearly see that 18 is divisible by 9 because 18 by 9 is 2 when I cancel 9 once 9 twos being an integer. Therefore 18 is divisible by 9 then I can say by definition which clearly says that the whole number is divisible by 9 because the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. So this is how the shortcut process is understood for 3 and 9. So let's try to verify for divisibility by 9 using the random manual verification by the division process. 96, 54 and when I take 36, 9 forces is 36 and I get 0 as the remainder. Therefore, clearly I can say that this because this is an integer. Therefore, therefore I can clearly say that because the remainder is 0, therefore 5, 4, 3, 6 is divisible by 9. The divisibility by 9 concept understood as similar as that for divisibility by 3. But when I compare the divisibility by 3 and 9, interestingly I note that because 9 itself has the one of the factor as 3, every number which is divisible by 9 is divisible by 3. But every number which is divisible by 3 need not be divisible by 9 because 9 can be expressed as product of 3 but 3 cannot be expressed as a product of 9 being the reason. So let's take a note. A number n which is divisible by is by 3 since 9 can be written as 3 times of 3 where one of the factor will be Therefore, a number n which is divisible by 9 is divisible by 3, is always divisible by 3. But the converse need not be true. The converse of this need not be true because when I have 9 expressed as 3 times of 3, but 9, <coughs> but 3. The reason being that since 3 cannot be expressed expressed as factor of 9. But the converse need not be true because since 3 cannot be expressed as a factor of 9 being the reason that divisibility of 9 implies divisibility of 3 but divisibility of 3 to the given number does not imply divisibility by 9 with these two being the reasons. 9 can be expressed as a factor of 3, but 3 cannot be expressed as a factor of 9, is how I understand the divisibility concept by 3 and 9 for any given number, however large or however small.